Now, for a look at stories making headlines around the world, and we're going to start today in Belgium. A gunman there has killed three people in the city of Liège in an attack that is suspected to be uh, terror-related. For more on this, another international news. Let's turn to our now Adam. So, Adam, fill us in on the latest. Well, Mark, two of the three people killed in Tuesday's attack were female police officers. The assailant reportedly crept up, to, uh, crept up on them with a knife, stabbed them before taking their service weapons and fatally shot them and a bystander who was sitting inside a parked car. He then took two women hostage inside a school where he was shot dead by police after an exchange of gunfire. A few officers were injured during the encounter with one in serious condition. This eyewitness described the scene. We heard gunshots. Then what happened is that people started screaming. At first I thought it was firecrackers, but it really was not normal. Then I saw a person with two weapons starting to shout Alu Akbar all over the place. Car stopped, a normal thing. And then he ran towards the school. We saw crowd movements. Five minutes later, gunshots were heard. Another five minutes later, we heard automatic gunfire. Belgian media quoting police sources are naming the gunman as 31-year-old Benjamin Herman, though, uh, though this is yet to be confirmed. He was reportedly let out from prison on temporary release the day before the attack and is believed to have been radicalized in jail. He had been serving time for drug offenses. Local prosecutors are investigating terrorism as one possible motive for Tuesday's attack. He was reported to have been on a radicalization watch list since last year, raising questions as to why he was released from jail unsupervised. Belgium remains on alert after a series of jihadist attacks in the country and in neighboring France, where 130 people were killed in Paris in attacks orchestrated by a Brussels-based cell.